new coach, Dick Tom. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you. Um, folks, I'm going to just stand down here, so I refuse to get on a podium. One of the things I'm going to talk today, about today is something I'm very concerned about because it's about just connecting with people. It's about communication. It's about how it's a little bit lost in the world today. And I'm going to draw some parallels with coaching and stories and a lot of things that have come up during my 48 years as a, as a football coach, 29 as a head football coach, to develop a real connection with somebody, whether it's a spouse, a girlfriend, a team, another player, anybody in your business, anybody in your company. You have to communicate on a deeply personal level. If it's not deeply personal, if it's just superfluous, it doesn't get the job done. You've got to get under the surface. And Tony said that to me, and I thought about the way we were training our football team, and I thought we're not going about it in the right way. The way you're training the people that work with you in your business, you might not be going about it in the right way. You have to find a way to get under the surface. Because the kids nowadays, young people, maybe all of us, it's a worldwide conspiracy to get us all disinterested about personal communication because we have got those things, we've got cell phones, we've got all these gadgets that we can communicate with, we can break up with somebody, we can fire somebody, we can do a lot with text message, email, with all this social uh, networking stuff without having a personal conversation. I'm married to a writer. My wife Nancy Kincaid is a tremendous fiction writer and she's the other piece of the puzzle with me when, you come to, when it comes to the importance of communication. Because women are better at this. You ladies, you're better at this than we are. You're better at being real about communication. You're better at listening. My wife's a fiction writer. She's a listener. She listens intently. We had both been divorced. We got married. And one of, the, one of the first days after we got together, she said, uh, what are you thinking? I said, oh, nothing. I said, what are you thinking? She said, everything. Holy cow, that's it. That was it right there. That was exactly who we were at that time. I was thinking not a damn thing, and she was thinking everything. And she still is. And what this means, folks, is if you will develop the ability to communicate and be really good at it, person to person, good news, bad news, you will take a quantum leap in whatever business you're in. And if you're a leader in a business, if you'll have the ability to communicate with the people that you're leading on a more personal level and get under the skin with them, as Tony Robbins said, deeply personal, You'll have a better chance to be an effective leader. You'll have a better chance to be a meaningful leader. You'll have a better chance to get more out of that employee, to get more out of that person as a coach. So what I'm going to try to do today is, is tell some stories about competition, excellence, striving for excellence, problems, solving problems, strategies that work in solving problems, in competition, in tough environments, in environments where it's highly competitive, where there's pressure, we would say to our, we would repeat, the tougher it gets, the better we play. The tougher it gets, the better we play. The tougher it gets, the better we play. We fumble on our own end of the field, the tougher it gets, the better we play. You have to know as a person and as a young person that when you go through the toughest times, it gives you a chance to get better. The times we grow the most are in the times of greatest struggle. That applies to your life, my life, everybody's life, your club, your team, your business, everything. Because they're looking at you as a leader. There are certain times, as a parent, as a coach, as, as, as anything in, in, where you've got responsibility for other people, there's points where they're looking at you for something to hang on to. You can't just get the job done by business as usual. You have to do something different. 
Solving problems requires something different, possibly. Maybe it, it involves staying the course. Maybe it involves doing something completely different. And the biggest thing I want them to understand was, I've been here before. As a coach, I've been 0-3. I've seen it completely turn around. It's only going to turn around if we'll all accept responsibility for what's happening, myself included. Head coach is responsible, players responsible, players that don't play are responsible. Because in order to really perform, the five things you need in order to really perform at anything, you have to have a passion about what you're doing. Not just a want to, a desire, you have to have a passion. You have to believe. Believe in your God, believe in yourself, believe in your teammates, believe in your offense, believe you can. You have to believe you can. You have to have a high positive energy level. You're not looking for negatives, you have to have a high positive energy level. We have to have the right strategy. In your business, you have to have the right strategy. If you're going, if you're going west looking for a sunrise, I mean, you, you don't have the right strategy. It ain't happening. And then finally, you have to be connected because, or bonded, or you have to, anything that's ever really outstanding that you get accomplished, it's got to be something that you do with people. And you as a leader have got to take, take the front. But you as a leader, the instinct that you show as a leader in those kind of situations will make the difference in what kind of leader you are. You trust your instincts. There's no manual for it. There's no driver's manual. You have to trust your instincts. Folks, you guys have been great. I appreciate you, you asking me. Thank you very much. Thank you.